for sale. Old Bob. Old Bob. Look at for sale. Oh, I think I should move Maybe into it. Single hand sailor at 17. What do you guys think? Probably because you just, you just, got just ate some energy. We're hiking to a waterfall. Let's do it! <laughs> we are venturing into the jungle. It's a tad bit rainy, but you know, we're trekking through. How you doing, Tristan? My socks are soaking wet now. Who wears socks with Crocs on a hike? Tristan. Tristan does. Apparently the pros do it. <laughs> if you guys need some entertainment, go hiking right, with Tristan. Today is a very exciting day because I am entering in my first regatta with like three other of our boat friends. We're sailing a J24 today and we're racing it against like 12 other teams. I've heard there's like literally professional, you know, sailors out there that we're going against and you know, I've actually never been in a real sailing race so this is going to be my first time on a J24 which is a big boat so wish me luck. I know you can't, but in your hearts, wish me luck. Um, yes. Let's do it. This is I'm ready to go. Do I look like a sailor? You look like a racer. Yeah, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> It's a beautiful day for a race. Um, it's raining, there's thunder and lightning. So yeah, um, my first race is going to be very memorable. Yay! I can't stay, I need to say what's on my mind We first can't fight, yeah or nine This is insane, no more games But no one's It's Billy here! Billy here! Way to go guys! <laughs> this is where we're at so far. <laughs> we have two boats in our competition with us. Basically, we're racing with 12, but like there's two Our that we're competing with. We're going to take a short pause while a monohull leaves the marina. We're competing with two others for first place. Yep. And one of them has got two firsts and a third, and the other boat has got two firsts, and they haven't sailed the third race yet. Yeah. And we've had a first and a second. So we're all pretty close, and basically we have to win this race, and the pressure's on for me as skipper to win it, <laughs> as well as the crew. <laughs> we just luck! You know, and Will, he's just... How excited just, are you, I'm Will? just here for balance. <laughs> 
no. It's there for the good times. Uh. This is the cockpit, if anyone's wondering. Oh. It's really tiny. <laughs> Not close enough. Hopefully we can pause them. Another one just oh, this is so bottom. hard with no wind, but... Yeah, I know, we want a big jump, guys. Had to, you know, refuel before our next race. Off we go! We won the first race. There's not a lot of wind, unfortunately. It was super storming this morning, like lightning, thunder. Yeah, so windy and rainy this morning. We were like, it's gonna be canceled because it's gonna yeah. be too gnarly. Yeah. <laughs> but. And then we got here and there was nothing. There's like maybe five knots. No. Less than that. There's no there's wind. There's like two to three knots right now. The water's glass. But we still won because our weight distri distribution was, you know, top tier. No, it was our skill. It was our, <laughs> it was our tactical skill. So, you know, yeah, wish us so luck. Good. Hello everybody, so today my dad and I are going to Dingy to a little store to get a boat part. So I'm gonna bring you along and you're gonna see what it's like to go to a store with Dingy and get a boat part. How exciting! And we're off! This is a booty shot. Don't do that. <laughs> you're gonna have all the ladies watching now. <laughs> the cougars! I didn't even realize, but I'm wearing like all Island Water World stuff. So, um, Island Water World in, uh, and where was it? Antigua? Guys, I'm gonna come with you later, okay? You're almost to the wind. Life as a sailor, man. All right, we're going on a few mile ride around to uh, a boat parts store. Woo! What do you guys think? Everywhere we go, we lock our dinghy. It's kind of what you do as you go further down in the Caribbean. All right, this is big news here in Grenada because here in this yard, a catamaran caught fire and then it burned the catamaran next to it. And these weren't just any catamarans. These are like performance, really nice, boutique, expensive, multi-million dollar catamarans. And you can see the mast of the other one over there fell on the cat, that's, <gasps> that white cat that's across there. Oh. And they have it quarantined off right now because they're waiting for like an insurance adjuster slash investigator to come and investigate everything. So nothing can be touched right now. They don't know how these caught on fire. So it's kind of like a big ordeal. And that's why they need a investigator to come and figure that. everything out. See the, this is a fiberglass. Oh, okay. So this, yeah, this is an Utremere. And this is another really nice cat. I just don't know what it was. We got the goods, everybody. This is a Suzuki maintenance kit for our engine so we can do yearly checkups. Isn't that right? Yearly checkups. It's for our outboard. It's a, it's a service kit. It's like a doctor's appointment, but for your service kit you for your dinghy. You gotta keep that outboard working nicely because it's like our car, you know? That's a massive boat lift. So we'll both pull up into the water there and then the Here. straps go under it and they lift it. That's huge. Hey guys, my name is Jaden and I'm going to show you how to do a cleat hitch. Under, over, under. Nope, you crossed, but that'll work. Wait, what? Uh, that'll work. Did I not do it right? No, you didn't. Guys, I promise I know how to do a cleat hitch. <laughs> I heard it's because there's a rum distillery here that like discharges whatever happens when you make rum out. Is it actually true? That's what someone said. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. This ain't no Bahamas waters. Whew, it's hot. It's really hot. Let's go sailing. Tanner, I'm here. I need a life jacket though. Oh yeah. Crap. This thing's good. I usually help with the dirty work, but today I'm on um, filming duties. You know what I mean? Cleaning her off. Getting her ready for an epic sail day. Let's do it. Whoa, baby. And the wind dies.
<laughs> Hello, we're mo we're walking Dingo Woods, all of our friends, Hudson. And me. And wait. And me. And me. And Jaden. Jaden's walking him. He's such a cute doggy. What are you guys um doing? Uh, we're walking Dingo. We're walking Dingo. Go. Go. Natu. Nothing like watching a dog take a pee. <laughs> Dude, he is light. So a question we get asked a lot is, can you have dogs on a sailboat? And the answer no, is, what? Whoa, no you can't. Um, the answer is you can. It's definitely more complicated and you have to check in your dog every time you go to a different country, right? Yeah, if you want to be legal. <laughs> but <laughs> can, I, can I not say that? Ah. <laughs> okay. Oh, bad, guys. Like, Anyways, you can have a dog. It's just more complicated. And I don't know if it's the best life for dogs just because you're on the water, obviously, and they can get seasick and, you know, things like that. Ah! His wiener! Go and stop! <laughs> I feel so out of place right now. <laughs> it's raining. Smash that button for a bunch of Nathan in the face. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Um, definitely come back next Sunday for a new video of adventures. And also, like it, subscribe. Like it, subscribe that button.